Now first I'm gonna talk about the cons because it's easy for me and um, we'll just go ahead and start with the bad and then we'll end with good. So, um, so Kyla woke up. So I'm gonna finish this video with her. Just, you rule the roost and um, you kind of, you control your experiences and so that's really nice. <laughs> You're just beautiful. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sabrina here and Kyla's with me today because she got up from her nap and it's not quite ready for her second nap yet. So we're just gonna kinda try and I'm gonna try and film this with her in my lap. So we'll see how this goes. But um anyway, so last week, as some of you know who have watched my video that I put out last week about the differences between hospital and home birth, um there were just, I kind of covered six um, basic quick differences that I had come across because I have had uh, two, I have two kids and one was in the hospital and one was at home and so I kind of wanted to talk about the differences. Well, I kind of messed that video up and realizing it, um, I didn't really realize it until it was already uploaded and I already had several views. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of make a part two and this will be more in depth. And so this will kind of, just fix or kind of talk about some of the things that I should have talked about in the other video. So anyway, I'm excited to get into this and let's get started. What I wanted to just say before we get started is welcome if you're new here. Um, my channel is centered around mommy tips, homemaking, homesteading. I also love to do different hauls for things and lifestyle videos, vlogs, etc. And so that's kind of what my channel is all about. So if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. And uh, yeah, so anyway, let's get started. So for those of you who have watched my previous video that is also about this topic, um, you know that I've had, and for those of you who don't, I have had two births, I mean, I've had two kids and I've had both, I had experience with a hospital and home birth. So I, I know, um, the differences and um, I know which one I prefer and then which one I don't but I also know there are cons to both and there are pros to both now in my mind this is just my own opinion um, there are more cons uh, as to the hospital side of things than there are to the home birth side of things so that's just my personal preference obviously everyone has their personal preferences their own opinion of what is best um, my opinion is that home birth is best, but that is just my opinion. That does not go for everybody. This isn't um, a video that is going to be talking about how bad hospital birth is because obviously there are good reasons to have your baby in the hospital. Um, and hospital birth can be a good thing. I am not saying that no one should have their baby in the hospital. All I'm saying is that I'm going to, I prefer to have my kids at home. But that's, I'm just saying that so everybody doesn't get the wrong, um, the wrong idea here, okay? <laughs> so anyway, now to start with, I just want to say that if you're on the fence, whether you're not totally decided what you want to do yet, which way you want to go, whether hospital or home birth, either way, um, I just hope that this video is helpful to you and maybe can help you with your decision. So that's kind of what this video is for and it's just to get information out there on the differences and so that you can plan accordingly and that'll help your decisions. Um, this is just my own experience and I hope that it can help somebody. So let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is, well the first uh, subject is hospital birth. Now um, I want to talk about that first because um, that was my first experience. So, um, just a little black story. Um, I had planned on having a home birth with my first, and unfortunately due to the fact that I wasn't progressing like I should have, we ended up going to the hospital. I needed something to help me relax so that I could dilate to the right, um, to, <laughs> so I could dilate fully and have my baby. Um, and so I actually was on the way to the hospital. On the way to the hospital, um, I was trying my hardest not to push. I had the strongest urge to push and I couldn't. So that was really hard. But um, once I was at the hospital, it was so much better because they gave me some fentanyl, which helps relax your body. 
So after they gave me the fentanyl, I was finally able to relax a little bit. I was still having the urge to push a lot, so that did not help, but I will say that it helped and I was able to dilate um, just moments later, or I think it was like half hour later, and then I was finally able to do something about the urge to push because my stomach was already pushing on its own. So try to imagine that is really hard, but anyway, so I was able to finally push them out in 20 minutes and so that was great. So um, that's kind of why I had to go to the hospital. So now let's go ahead and talk about the um, pros and the cons to a hospital birth. Now first I'm going to talk about the cons because it's easy for me and um, we'll just go ahead and start with the bad and then we'll end with good. So um, one of the cons as I talked about in my previous video was privacy and privacy is definitely a con as far as hospitals are concerned because there are people in and out of your room constantly whether it's a doctor or nurses there's different nurses sometimes especially if you labor for a long period of time. Um, now, I didn't labor for a long period of time in the hospital. I was only in there for an hour before my son was born. So technically, um, I didn't labor there, so I don't know what that's really like. But um, but I do know that I've seen other births and coming in and out uh, is definitely a thing that happens. Um, and you'll get different nurses. <clears throat> so you're not gonna get the same one. And so because depending on how long your labor is, their shift may change or end or whatever. So, or they may have to help somebody else. And then you've got your doctor. And uh, depending, I haven't had, I don't I didn't actually have a doctor. Uh, I had a midwife and so uh, my doctor was whoever was on hand at the time. And so she came in and so there was a doctor. There was like two or three nurses. There was two nurses in there and then there was a third one that came in and out. And then I had my husband there. I had my midwife there, obviously. And then I also had my mom there. So there's just a lot of people. And I, obviously in the heat of the moment, you really don't care because you're just wanting to get this kid out of you. But when you're laboring, um, I definitely like the privacy of home birth better. Just way more private. So anyway, the next con I want to talk about, that's one, yeah. <laughs> and so the next con I wanted to kind of talk about is drugs. Um, and this can go hand in hand with a pro. Um, and what I mean by that is that hospitals are good when things go wrong, when things don't go the way you're supposed to, they're supposed to. And that's what happened with me. And so in my, in, in my, uh, uh, well, and what happened with me is drugs were actually a positive impact on my birth experience because it helped me move along to be able to push. And so that was a good thing for me. But I do know that when you plan a hospital birth and you really want to give, um, or you want to give birth naturally, they will push drugs, um, even if it's just a little bit. Uh, they don't, they will try to um, adhere to your wishes, um, but a lot of times doctors will try to push and hospitals try to kind of push um, drugs to make it easier on the mother or whatever. And so a lot of times it's less natural. And so they do try to push the drugs. So that can be hand in hand with a pro and a con, depending on your situation. Um, and so there's that. Now, another con to um, hospital birth, which would make get three, and this kind of goes along with the drugs a little bit, but um, is the fact that you don't get a whole lot of control. Um, now you can write a written birth plan out and they will try to follow that as best as they can, but you do have to understand that a hospital is um, not your home and so you don't make the rules. The hospital does. And so um, a lot of times you don't have as much control centered around you and your husband and the way you want to do things because sometimes, well, obviously they're in control of their own facility. So less control um, or more control, uh, that's a, po a con uh, about hospital birth is there is a lot more control as far as like they want to control everything. And so um, that's a pro, I mean a con. I keep saying pro, I don't know why, but anyway. Another con to hospital birth is the price. The price is expensive. <laughs> Um, if you don't have insurance, it can be really rough, uh, because our, I think, for just one be day being there and having our son there, it was 10 grand, and so a lot of money, um, and we didn't have insurance because of some things that had happened, 
we did have insurance, but we lost it for some reason. I'm not going to go into detail, but, um, so we didn't have insurance. And so, um, when you have insurance halfway through your pregnancy, um, you, most insurance companies won't take you because they consider you a pre-existing condition. So that's another reason why we didn't have any, um, health insurance. So for me, Josiah did, um, my husband. And so anyway, uh, so that's a con. It's definitely expensive if you don't have insurance. And so that can be kind of rough. Last con I want to talk about, um, as far as hospital birth is concerned, is um, unfam it's unfamiliar. And this also goes along with germs. So unfamiliar germs. Um, and in my previous video, I had talked about that, but I didn't really go in depth with it. And I think it was really hard for people to understand the way I presented it. So sorry about that. But what I meant was that in a hospital setting, you have unfamiliar germs that aren't familiar to your body. And so you'll have a lot of um, uh, hospital states try to be try to stay as clean as possible, but they can be dirty because you have sick people coming in and out. And so um, uh, different things happen. There's a lot of a lot of germs going around the hospital. They, you know, they are sanitary, but they're also kind of dirty, but not, not dirty, but there's a lot more germs floating around there. So, um, that'd be a con. There's just, um, not as much, like when you're in a home, when at a home birth, there's a lot more familiarity and all of the germs that are in your home are already something that your body's used to and your baby's going to be coming out too. And it's going to be a lot healthier for them because their body, um, is already used to it because they're used to you. So that's another so that's a con just the germs in general are unfamiliar so all right so let's talk about pros so i want to know i want to talk about the first pro it would be that you are weighted on hand and foot now you can be weighted on hand and foot um during home birth too but i definitely will say that the hospital staff are super sweet and help you with everything they'll help you get drugs they'll help you get food i mean they are just always there trying to help you and make you comfortable and so that's a cool atmosphere to be in when you're in pain and so it's really nice um it's not as relaxed so um that can kind of hinder some of that but for the most part it's really nice to be weighted on hand and foot and, and not to say that you're not in a home birth but it's it is kind of nice that they're so sweet and kind and just try to help you as best they can. So, all right, another pro for hospital birth is insurance will most likely cover it. So, um, most health insurances will cover hospital birth, but they won't cover home birth. And I'm not going to go into the details of why they won't and why they will, but I will say that most insurance, health insurance companies will cover a hospital birth. And um, so that's kind of nice. There's a, con to, a pro to that. Um, they'll most of the time cover everything and um, they'll cover your differ di differing on what your deductible is, but um, they'll normally cover um, cover it all and that'll include your prenatals and your prenatal visits and then obviously birth and de uh, uh, delivery. So. Um, so there's a con, a pro. Now, as I touched on before with the cons, um, about the drugs being pushed, it works hand in hand with the positives and the aspect that it is positive to have a, um, when you need drugs to help your labor along, um, the hospital's where to go, uh, the place to go, and that'll help you with progressing or whatever you need, um, even a C-section, like a lot of, um, sometimes when you're transferred from home birth to a hospital birth, um, uh, you know, they're, they're a pro in that sense because they're helping you deliver this child and, um, also trying to help you stay alive and all those things. So there's a pro, you know, their drugs and their whole system. It is a good thing if things go wrong, you have a place to go. Um, so that's nice. You have a place to go when things go wrong. <laughs> the pro is that they have a ton of supplies and when you go home, they will send you with extra pads, um, a peri bottle, I think, too, which I'm not going to go into what that is. If you've had a child, you know what that is, so that's good enough. Um, but yeah, they'll send you home with all kinds of different supplies, baby hat, blankets, sometimes, um, we were sent home with a couple different hats that people had donated to the hospital so that mamas can take it home, and so that's really cool. I think we were in with donated a blanket, too. Also, I mean, you pay for it, kind of, too, but we were given a, um, 
car seat too actually we had already bought one previously before my son was born but um so that was kind of nice we got a free car seat free not really free but um we got a car seat and so they really and then we got a dinner after he was born and so there's a lot of positives if you pay for it and um they just make you try to try to make you feel as at home as possible uh, best at home as possible uh, more comfortable as possible anyway so all right so that's kind of all i have for the hospital now we're going to move on to home birth and we're going to talk about we're going to do the same thing we're going to be talking about the cons to home birth and the pros i do probably have more pros than cons for the home birth and vice for and then for the hospital birth i obviously had more um cons and then pros for the hospital birth but basically they're they're pretty much about the same so so with my second child, I had planned on a home birth, and I actually was able to have a home birth. It was so nice. We didn't have to go to the hospital or anything. It was so relaxing, so nice. Um, in more videos to come, I will be actually talking about each experience in depth about which, or what my experiences was, like a kind of story time, but um, talk about each of my experiences with each child. But um, yeah, it was just really nice and relaxing to have her at home. Uh, it didn't go like I had wanted it to, but birth rarely does go the way you think about it in your head, so, but yeah, anyway. Okay, so the first con I want to talk about um, with home birth is that insurance may not cover your costs. So depending on what kind of insurance you have, um, they can tend, not, tend to not cover it because it's all natural and there's, there's just different reasons why different um, companies do. Um, the ones that we are more interested in healthcare wise is uh, um, they will cover them because they're cheaper than a hospital, um, which is kind of nice. That goes along with a pro, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. So, but yeah, um, that's a con. They a lot of insurance companies don't tend to cover your home birth. So, another con is you can still be transferred to the hospital. Now, this is a pro in the hospital realm, but it's a con when you want to have your baby at home. Um, because a lot of mamas, like with me, I had to be transferred to a hospital with my first son, and it was, it was a little hard. I, w I did not want to go to the hospital. Um, I'm not a big hospital fan. Um, <laughs> I'm just not. Um, one of the cons is, to having home birth, is if something goes wrong, they can't take care of it there at home. They have to take you to the hospital. Um, now, um, not to say that the, that a midwife isn't, um, trained and ready for anything that could go wrong that in the event where your baby is breached I would hope that most midwives if the baby if you cannot be moved and the baby's coming out breached and it doesn't matter what you do you can't stop it then that midwife should if she's a good midwife and should be trained to deliver a breech baby so that's good but uh, not to say that they're not capable of doing that but I'm just saying um that's one of the cons of having an um, a home birth is that you could be transferred to the hospital. Their con is that you are going to have your baby at home, right? So things can get messy. Um, so you really have to be prepared. Um, whereas like with you in the hospital, it's all prepared for you. Um, so at home, when you have home birth, you have to prepare everything yourself and buy it all. Now your midwife and um, uh, your midwife should be able to help you with all those things. And she will also be bringing um, a lot of extra supplies in case um, she needs more, but um, or he. Uh, so as far as um, yeah, so it's just it's messy. It can get messy, so you want to make sure you're prepared. And so that's a con. It can get really messy, and you don't have a crew to clean it up for you. So uh, I mean, the midwife's there to help you and to clean it up for you and help that along, but you also have a lot of that responsibility yourself too. All right, now we're gonna talk about some pros to home birth, and this is my favorite subject because I love home birth. Um, and so, yay, we got to this point. Um, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, I'm a little excited. I love everything centered around birth, guys. It's just, it's a beautiful moment for you and your baby and your husband too, and it's it's a very emotional um, moment, but it's an amazing moment at the same time. So the first pro I would like to talk about is the fact that it's so relaxing. Oh my gosh. Um, being able to have a home birth was so nice. I mean, from start to finish, even with my first son, the starting was just so relaxing. I mean, you get in the water and you relax, or you don't get in the water, because both times I tried to have my son, I mean, my kids in the water didn't work out, but 
the relaxation is just it's just so nice i mean it's quiet it's calm you can talk through you know each after each contraction you can kind of just talk to your husband or your midwife and just chat and um you can kind of roll on your ball and there's you know there's essential oils if you're that kind of a person i am uh, essential oils diffusing in the diffuser and then there's light music on and you can take a nap um so it's just it's really relaxing and it's just you're in your own home so you feel secure and safe and it's so nice <laughs> so that's a definitely a positive so kyla woke up so i'm gonna finish this video with her but anyway hopefully she stays happy huh so another pro um, to home birth is that you have a lot more control over your experiences. Um, in the hospital, there's more control on their end, but at home, you control the roost, you rule the roost, and um, you kind of, you control your experiences. And so that's really nice. <laughs> You're just being such a little flirt. Hi. So um, definitely a lot more control of the different experiences. You can say that you want to have a, you want to go in the back. You don't want to go in the back. You, you want this. You want someone to go get that for you. I mean, it's just a very more, you have more control. Um, but as it's your own home, so that's really nice. Another pro is that you can deliver in any position you want. <laughs> um, you can start, you can you know, have your baby standing up, which I did have with her. I mean, I was squatting by the time she came out, but um, I had to end up standing up and uh, squatting while she was coming out. But anyway, um, there's many different positions you can try and walk around and there's uh, nobody to tell you otherwise. And so the midwife actually encourages people to walk around and do different um, birthing positions. So that's really nice. Uh, there's just, you know, room for you to do all kinds of different birth positions and then whenever uh, you feel comfortable to push that's probably most of the most of the time depending sometimes you push in many different positions and it takes a while to get that position to finally deliver the child but uh, that was with her i went through so many different positions before finally i had to get out of the water which was really fun and then she was born in the bathroom but uh, five minutes later so um but yeah i did finally find that position that pattern and that was great. All right, another pro is that you're in your familiar environment. You're at home. You're where you're comfortable. You have your own bed that you get to either burrow on or not. Um, but right after you have the baby, you just get to slip right on in your bed or take a shower or whatever. Everything's there that's familiar and um, so which is so nice. Um, I know when having her, it was just a relief to know that I was home. I didn't have to go anywhere. Um, I didn't have to be wheeled out um, somewhere the next day or that evening of the birth to come home. Um, it was really nice. I just got to, you know, as soon as she was born, I just waddled to the bed and had her with me. Yeah. And it was just so relaxed and calm and I was able to just feel it right at home because I was at home. And so it was really nice. Another pro to home birth is that there's less people touching your baby. Um, my midwife, my husband, my mom, and I were the only ones who touched my baby, our baby, which was so nice. <laughs> um, and that goes right along with a pro tip, pro with um, there's less germs that are unfamiliar and so less um, risk of your baby getting sick or catching something. So that's really nice. Just having it at home is way safer as far as like germs are concerned because the baby's already used to mama. And so mama's already used to the world around her. So that makes that really nice and definitely um, a pro. So I really liked that about just being home and not having to worry about different germs that may be surrounded or however many people were touching all over her or whatever. And I know doctors try to be as clean as possible and we use gloves and all that stuff, but it is nice. So yeah, there's that. Another pro that is big with me is you don't have everyone poking and prodding you. I will say that oh, I found one more con to a hospital first. Sorry guys, <laughs> but one con um, that I didn't talk about what, with a hospital birth is that they are constantly touching you, poking you with needles, poking you not necessarily needles, but IVs, and oof, I mean you're constantly being touched and. Um, it's not necessarily their fault, but 
Um, it, it can be really rough because they're trying to just make you comfortable. They're also trying to help you. So they need to <laughs> touch you and figure things out. And so anyway, with home birth, the pro is that there's a lot less touching and a lot less prodding and poking. And um, my midwife didn't have to. She did have to give me a shot of Pitocin because I was bleeding um, a little bit more than usual, but it ended up being fine. But as far as like normally, um, I'm, she doesn't give me anything really. Um, and so there's a lot less touching of, you know, she doesn't touch me very much. She checks me here and there just to make sure everything's good and that my vitals are fine. But there's a lot less poking and prodding as I like to call it. So that's really nice. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but uh, those were all of the options and uh, differences that I could think of that came, that stuck out to me, and so I hope that this was helpful to some of you who are still deciding whether you guys want to have home birth or not, and, um, <laughs> and if it wasn't helpful or you guys just enjoyed the video, that's great. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Um, subscribe for more content like this and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time I have new content on my channel. So, um, and let me know if you guys have any other suggestions that should be on these pros and cons lists. Um, what was your experience with your birth, uh, with your kids? If there's any birth experience that you'd like to share, please share in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear about it. And um, yeah, so we will see you guys next time. Have a great week. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.